It doesn't work, you guys. This is so bad. Crandall wouldn't let me leave the house with my hair like this. I don't really know why, but I told him I would do it here in the car. And now I kind of just want to bug him and not do it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you look so beautiful, Mars. Oh, thank you. We are headed. Maverick, where are we going? What are we going to go get? A dirt bike? I wish. We wish. We are go actually what we're going to go do is something every single one of you have wanted. Yeah. Every oh. single one of you. <laughs> what what is it? We are going to get a new car for I say it's for Marcy, obviously it's for the whole family, but it's Marcy's car. We're going to get Marcy's car, which is gonna be our family car. And we're excited about it. We're uh it's been a long time coming. We finally had the right deal come through, and um, by a miracle, we were able to sell the Ford Ranger or other truck that you guys have seen, and basically trade it for the car that we're buying. We didn't actually trade it, but we almost sold it for the same amount we're buying the new car for. So we're super excited about that, super grateful, and we're going to go pick it up right now. Fingers crossed, it's as good as we remember. We looked at it a week ago, and have sat on it for about a week. We, the person that's selling it had to wait for the title to get here, so now it's all, all the paperwork should be good. So we'll take you guys along and show you guys what we think. But this is the second time I have bought Marcy a car for Mother's Day. Yeah, so my first Mother's Day, I was actually just pregnant with Maverick. Oh. I was pregnant with Maverick and we bought me a Nissan Murano yep. in 2009. I don't even know what year it was. 11? 13? 2011, 2013 Nissan Murano. So, that was, and we only had it for like nine months and then we moved to Texas. Yeah, and we sold it when we moved down here. Yeah, with the intention to get me a new car and that kind of just has rolled into just me having all these temporary cars that come and go. So, here we go. I am so excited. I actually haven't drove this car. I like Crandall drive it and then that's about it. So I don't really even know what it's like. Crandall got his way. I did my hair. <laughs> I you look so good, Mars. Thanks. I also put makeup on. Maverick, what do you think of mommy's hair? I like it. You like it? Yeah. Oh, Dada like it. Dada like it too. Okay, we're almost there. We had to stop at the gas station. Yeah, we have to stop at an ATM. We had to get money from an ATM. I think I've only ever used an ATM like once in my life. Really? Yeah. 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 Well, I haven't used it very much either. <laughs> So here we go. We're going to meet her. I'm so excited. We'd like to thank Timu for sponsoring today's video. When you download the Timu app using the link in our description, you can get this solid color waterproof beach bag for only $2.18. Normally this is over $23. So it's a still of a deal. So I got them these cute outfits for the 4th of July and Memorial Day, which is coming up in just a few weeks. They're super high quality, really lightweight, which is important for all of the boys to be in because my kids sweat. So I really am excited about these. We also got some sun hats for the beach for both of the boys. Um, Maverick already has one, but I'm really excited. We have beach toys now. Maverick's been begging for them and we we're able to get him an affordable beach toy set and then this collapsible beach toy bucket which is perfect because we don't have a lot of space. We are always on the go. The car is always full with random stuff. And so to be able to collapse his beach bucket and store it is perfect. And then I love this beach bag. I am so excited. It has holes so you can just rinse it out. And it's super lightweight, really cute color. It's gonna go perfect with my beach shirt. If you guys know what I'm talking about from our last team we ordered, but you can't go to the beach without shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. So I picked up some of these portable um, shampoo bottles so that I can bring my own hair products with me. Crandall just uses whatever, but I'm not like that. I like to use my own shampoo, my own body wash, and so this is perfect. There's some things that we seriously need in our house, and that's I don't ever know if it's a strainer or a colander, but these things, you know, you put the noodles in it and you wash them off. Yeah. So these come in a pack of two. They are collapsible as well. Clearly I'm really into that right now because the more space I have, the better. If you guys remember a few weeks ago, 
we got stranded in our trek and I had to give Goose water off of a paper plate. And so I picked him up some of these doggy collapsible bowls. You can put food or water in them, but they also come with this cute little clip. I'm gonna put one in each of our treks. That way I can always give Goose water no matter where we are. Our last things we got are, oh, besides these adorable sunglasses. Um, Crandall has these exact same ones coming in the mail. And so I'm so excited that Maverick gets to match and he's gonna be so, so excited. He loves wearing sunglasses in the first place, but to match his dad is perfect. But these things are what I have been looking for ever since having Maverick. You fill the bottle up with food and then you take off the cap. You take off the cap and then you can squeeze some of the food onto the spoon and then you can feed your baby mess free we also got this this is um to spray your like cooking spray this is a cooking spray where we can fill it up with our own like olive oil or i guess you could use vegetable oil we are a huge fan of olive oil so the spray on this is perfect use the code cell 5584 for 30 percent off on all new users what is it where is it? My car. That's your new car? Yeah. What's your car's name? GP. GP? Yeah. There's our new car. You excited? Yeah. We go see it? Are you going to tell dad its yeah. name? <laughs> GB. I guess we're naming our car GB. The last car was Ranger, and this is White Trek. And I told him it's a GMC, and he just card started calling it GB. GB is an airplane, right, Maverick? No. 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 Car's GB. Car's GB. Okay. So I'm gonna be honest with you. Crandall has sold and bought a lot of stuff in his lifetime, and he's learned a few tricks. So here is some tricks that we're giving you completely for free. First. He shows up to the place, so we're buying this car, and he showed up with a certain money in cash, and he has access to get the rest of the money, but he's going to be like, I have this much cash on hand right now, otherwise I have to get more. I don't know. I don't know if he's going to be able to do this, but we'll see if he gets a better price than he thought he was going to get. Do you think Daddy's going to get a better price? Yeah. Yeah. So we sh oh, here he comes. Let's see what he says. All right, what's happening? Ah! Oh, I think he just handed it to her. I don't know. Oh, they're going inside to pay. We're at the bank, so they have to notarize it at the bank. You have a new car! We do. Are you so excited? I'm so excited. So excited. Mark, so tell Daddy its name. Murdoch. Murdoch? <laughs> no. What's the car's name? What's the car's name? Popcorn. Popcorn? <laughs> Popcorn's our new car, y'all. <laughs> well, he was calling it, I told him it's a GMC, and he started calling it a GB. <laughs> we could call it GB. Is that the GB car? <laughs> so, there was no, one problem popcorn. with it. Well, the tire pressure sensors are all whack. We'll have to get new ones of those whenever we get new tires. And then... No, you don't really need them. No, you don't. And then the other thing is the EVAP. There was a control module thing that needed to be replaced. I was gonna replace it, but she actually got it replaced for us. So super stoked about it. The truck or the car is 100% ready to go. We'll show you guys when we get home, we'll kind of go through it. Show Marcy, cause Marcy hasn't even really looked at it, but we're excited. Let me take it now that you don't have to go to AutoZone. No, I gotta drive it, make sure it runs good. Oh. But am I putting the kids in there or what do I wanna do? Yeah. Fine. You just take that, go get the thing, and I'll take all the kids home. Oh, I don't have to take Maverick with me? No. Okay, because he would ruin the surprise. All right. Here's your new car. It's so cute. Do you like it? Oh, I absolutely love it. The front seats are obviously worn because this car's got like 220,000. Can we show them our front seats? Oh, yeah, we better show them our, a comparison. Cause we this gotta is... do a comparison to what? Because you guys are like, oh, they're worn. Y'all have no idea. This is Colonel's current front seat. 
And so actually, they're not even broken in yet. Not even, <laughs> not even close. But and look how nice the back seats so are. Oh, I hope they all fit. They should. We measured. Yeah, so all the car seats should fit. It'll be a little bit tight, and like probably once they have three sit-up car seats, it won't work. We'll have to get a bigger car. But, but for this, that's still for a year now, and a half away. yeah, this is ten thousand times better than what we've been Currently doing. Not. And it has a back. And it has a closed back. So we won't get stuff. Are like you that. excited, Mars? Doesn't it look nice? It does. There's a bunch. Nice. Climb back there. See how it is sitting. Oh man! Oh man! And keep me in the back seat, would you? <laughs> this is nice. So, it we're guys, we have never had a car this nice before. This is seriously like hands down the nicest car we've ever owned. We got it for an amazing deal. Um, there's a little bit of body damage and stuff like that, but over, I mean, mechanically and stuff, it seems like it's going to be completely sound. So, they've owned the car since 35,000 miles, and now it's got 220,000. So they've literally owned it its entire life. So they seem like good people that took care of it. Whew, we're going to try and do the same. Yeah. Hopefully have no breakdowns. We will give you a full car tour when we get home, but I'm going to take it for a test drive. I'm supposed to go with daddy, but he said, no way, I want to go with mama. So I guess you're going with mama. You want to go with mama? Yeah. In the new car? Yeah. yeah. Hi, Harvey. Are you sticking your tongue out at me? Yeah, yeah. Wow, guys, this is actually great. Climb in your car seat. He can get in by himself now. This might be the best thing we've ever done. We just got to figure out how to teach him how to buckle. Okay, buckle. Climb in, buckle. What do you think of your new Hot Wheels, Marsh? It's awesome. A little bit better than the truck? Yeah. Way better than Happy the truck. Happy Mother's Day. Thanks. We got to do a little bit of cleaning. There's quite a bit of dog hair. Yeah, she said she had a hard time getting it out, but we've got a pretty good vacuum that should do it. Yeah, so get down, Goose. we got to clean it a little bit and then, yeah. I'm going to try and get this dent out of the fender. So this was a hit and run, she said, and they never claimed it on insurance or anything. So, oh, it's actually split there. Look at that. I didn't realize that. Maybe I won't be able to bang that out. It's what? Yeah, that's definitely not gonna come out. It's cut, like, it literally sliced it. So I might look and see how much a new body panel is. I think I can get a new body panel for like 200 bucks. It would be painting it, that would be the trick. So I don't know, it doesn't really affect it at all. Maybe some new headlights, or if we can restore these headlights, they would make the car look amazing. Yeah. So, but other than that, I mean, it's a black car, so it shows everything. Crandall said we would never own a black car, but every car he's ever bought me has been black. Yeah, what the heck is up with that? I like white cars. I like black cars. Well, there you go, Mars. So, yeah, there's quite a bit of dog hair back here, like Marcy said. But overall, I mean, the lady that sold it to us, she was super, super nice. So nice. And uh, there's a balloon. <laughs> Happy birthday, Mars. We might have to get the pressure washer out and uh, spray down all the doors and stuff like that and get it washed out. But guys, we are so, we are so excited about this. So, so excited. Oh, all right. We're going to add our own dog hair. He can definitely smell the other dog. So he's probably like, what the heck? Yeah. We Hi, animals. We gotta get it cleaned. I leave tomorrow for three days to Oklahoma City to take care of my brother's kids. I forgot about that. Yeah, to take care of my brother's kids while my sister-in-law Allison is in New York for her. They're the ones that are adopting. Yeah, by the way. for her back. So she's up there having. She's in a medical trial, so she's doing some tests up there right now. Um, so I gotta take all the kids with me, and we're going up there. We gotta also see if the car seats are gonna fit in this. We may have a big issue if we the car seats don't fit in our new car. We only tested one car seat. Crandall is just pressure washing the back of the car. And I just cleaned all of this. This is Mav's car seat. Um, why is he first walking the car? 
with the door open. I've never seen something so weird. Oh, he closes that one. towel and I was like oh uh, what and he's like I got the back really really wet Colonel it's a car you have a pressure washer of course you got it really wet here he goes guys moment of truth I know what you're gonna all say because you all said it when we had Maverick or when we tried to do this in the Ford the first time put Maverick in the middle we eventually will but we right, might have no choice we might have no choice but the game plan is not to put him in the middle because he still needs to be helped buckling in. But I have started teaching him how to buckle himself. Yeah. And, and so climb in. he can climb in and get in himself here. So that's, I mean, it really is a big deal. Here Rob, we go. We might need to get another car seat for Maverick. What do you mean? For the other truck. I thought about it because we're going to need to anyways. It would be nice to have it. We can get one from Sam's Club we for under a hundred. His car seat? Yeah. Um, his car seat still needs to be washed off. Kind of. What? His car seat still needs to be washed off. Okay. Remember? I washed it with soap. We can't put it in here to test it. I guess we can. I think it's wet though. I washed Maverick's car seat, took everything out. All the stuff is in the... Well, I think it's gonna work. We're gonna go grab the actual car seat. But the base is short, all fit. But yeah, the bases do all fit. Okay, let's see. Oh, I did it too freaking too tight that it goes under the oh. seat. Wow, didn't know that was possible. I had to help Maverick, he spilled water everywhere. But Crandall's still in here, which makes me a little nervous. It's about as close as you can get. Shoot. Oh, heck. There's no way. No way this is happening. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Let me come over there. The only thing I can also think of is moving his seat into the middle. Yeah, I can try that. Cause that, I mean, see that? Yeah. It goes right in. No. Yeah, because then since it's this part that hits. The other thing worse is if we do the seatbelt for here, we can probably slide this over. No, no, I can't. Don't like what? Oh, I can't turn. Oh yeah, we gotta put the cover back on it, huh? Yeah, it's in the wash. Almost washing your car seat. It doesn't work, you guys. This is so bad. No. We gotta try putting it in the middle. That's our only hope. It's our only hope. All right, let's try it. I like this better already. It feels more spacious. Okay, hand me a car seat. Oh, this car seat. It's just going to be kind of a pain for us to have to carry, slide, and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, but right now, we always put the babies on, on this side, Colonel, and then we walk around to the driver's side. So no matter what, you're walking to both sides. Okay, that works. Ow, hold on my hand. <laughs> ah! You have to buckle that other side in. Moment of truth. This one is in. in but it well, should work. 
Yeah. It will be buckled in. We have to put all the stuff back on, so. Did it work? Oh. Okay, hold on. Do the door shut? Oh, shit. Shoot. <laughs> Move. Beep, 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 beep. Beep, 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 beep. beep. Note to anybody else trying to do this. Don't do it. Don't do it. I'm going to tighten that. But it all fits. It all fits. Woo! Maverick's going to be a little tight on that. But he still has like... He's fine. How long till they're out of these car seats? A year and a half. Okay. So we've got time to upgrade. <laughs> Well, it's official, y'all. It works. Maverick, are you excited to sit by both of your brothers? Yeah. Are you going to love it? Yeah. You can help both of them? Oh, you can share your dirt bike? Yeah. Yeah. That's so nice of you. So, Mars is actually going to help her brother because Allison, as you guys know, is at a medical trial in New York City. So, she's going to go up to Colton Allison's and help babysit. Yep. So, testing out the car. It's good because... It's like a two hour drive. Make sure everything works great. It should, it should be perfect. Oh, you guys look so cute. Wow, we look like a real family now that so we are driving a real car. Yeah, Maverick, do you have a water? Yeah, there's a water bottle in the front. Okay, perfect. Okay. I love you. I love you. Thanks everybody for watching this video of me getting my new car. See you again soon.